About to be cleaning some brackets up for a day gum rear end, boys. Time to get at it. Alright guys, it's Monday, uh, gonna be welding up the rear end, Blaine has done most of the work of this thing. Uh, he just asked me to help him out on finishing up a little bit of chores on this thing, and I'm gonna be doing some TIG work. And uh, old Blaine, he's over on the other side of work, and we're kind of getting in the, the late night oil here on Monday. But uh, we've got a lot of orders that's been coming in, and uh, we're gonna kick this thing off right on a Monday. So let's get after here show you guys some stuff so uh, definitely welcome back to the vlog and uh, let's hit this thing hard let's get to it that's right guys gotta put the daggum label on that boy that's right keep it right all right guys during this part right here i would normally have some music going we'd rock out and uh, we'd watch me and basically watch my butt weld on something but uh here recently, YouTube has been rough on me when it comes to putting music in my videos, so uh, we're going to probably stop that for a while and uh, just kind of talk, have a good time here, and kind of let you guys know what all is going on here. So basically, I am just kind of running around this rear end, doing a lot of TIG work. Um, this is one of those very slow moments, but you just got to do what you got to do. So let's get after it, guys. All right, guys, uh, we're going to finish this vlog out here. I really appreciate you guys watching this. Um, definitely, we're trying to kind of figure out this vlog thing of uh, posting this week. I'm going to post a video each day to test this out, see if you guys like it, and uh, see how this kind of goes here. But uh, anyways, today was a good day. Uh, it's about 10.30 right now, so I'm needing to go to bed like now. Uh, but um, when I get off work, came in here, got after it. Uh, worked on this rear end for a little bit. Uh, this is going out to a customer as well. This is one of our orders. Uh, just doing some TIG work to it. Tomorrow I'll flip it over and I'll weld up the bottom side and then I will be ready to put on the uh, housing ends as well. And this will be pretty much ready to go on out to the customer. So hopefully we'll get this thing shipped out this week. Uh, we'll walk on over here to this side. Uh, we've got an inner and outer seat order that's going to be going out. Uh, this one's almost ready for final welding. Got a little bit more work done to it. You guys seem to be really, really, really uh, liking these things. We've sold several of these this week. So definitely thank you guys for that. But uh, yeah, guys, we are rocking in and rolling right now. Walk back on over here. Uh, give you guys some updates on the GTO. So on the GTO, uh, we've got several parts in from Jags and from uh, Holly. Uh, we've got our smart coils in. we got our switches in from Painless. Uh, we've got our cam sync kit in uh, it'll mount on to the where uh on the front of the motor there where the uh, gestile drive system is and stuff for the timing belt so we got that going on uh let's see here we've got several things going on, on gto uh big announcement to make uh definitely you guys want to check out uh jesse gardner's um car show it's going to be going on at the vfw uh, that's going to be a really really cool event we're going to be taking the gto there I'm hoping to have this thing running for that event, at least get to start it up and stuff, but we'll just have to see. I'm working my butt off trying to get those last few items bought and stuff, and also we're fighting uh, shipping, we're fighting um, you know, components not available right now. It's taken sometimes two to three weeks for me to get certain parts for it, just because it's so backed up everywhere trying to get components in. Uh, the EGT kit alone from Holly, uh, went on back order on me and uh, we bought that as well, but it's going to take uh, They say it's going to be end of next week before I even get it So it's stuff like that that really puts a damper on trying to get stuff done for events and stuff So we'll just have to see uh, we're gonna work our butts off on it burn up a midnight oil as always and see if we can get that thing running But uh, anyways guys, I'm going to jump off of here. I appreciate you guys watching definitely comment down below Tell me what you guys think of this daily vlog that we're gonna do this week, test it out. Uh, last week's vlog, where I did the whole entire week, it just took up so much time editing and the video was so long. Um, I, I think it needs to be a little bit quicker for you guys. So we're gonna test this out, 
a daily vlog. Very quick, very easy to, to edit and stuff and get up there for you guys. So we'll test this out. Again, comment down below, tell me what you guys think. And uh, that way you guys can kind of keep up what I'm doing on the daily. I kind of got to wear several different hats each day. Uh, welder, fabricator, chassis builder, uh, business runner, uh, website builder trying to fix a website when it crashes when you guys are buying stuff or if an uh, order gets messed up and the shipper misses it or drops it somewhere. So I've got to take care and figure out where it went to or what happened and all that stuff. So sometimes my job gets a little bit crazy but we just got to do what we get what we just got to do what we got to do there but anyways uh, again make sure you like share and subscribe uh, go to killingmotorsports.com pick up one of our new freedom shirts uh, that's extremely important uh, every single one of those shirts sales helps out the gto 100 percent. we still need to get our ecu that's the dominator we still need to get our, our, our dash for our gauges uh, we still need to get our batteries. Uh, we've still got a couple of harnesses that we need to buy and stuff. So we've still got several things that we need to get for this old girl, but we are getting there. We are getting there. But anyways, guys, I'm done. I'm out of here. Gotta get some sleep. See y'all tomorrow.